Yeah. <laughs> what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. And in today's video, we're gonna be switching out the stock headlamp on the 2015 Lowrider with this $37, yes, $37 LED headlamp from Amazon, believe it or not. Um, I have seen it on another bike already in person. So it lights up like crazy, it looks great. Um, design is really cool. And um, it's 37 bucks, so you can go wrong with that. So even if down the line, if it might last me two years, let's say if that, then it's 37 bucks. So this is the black box that it comes in. Um, it's very simple, plug and play. We'll take the uh, little screen thing off right here. So I chose this one because I wanted the whole blacked out accent in the back. Um, it looks really, really nice. Um, it's gonna complement the bike very well with all the black accents that the bike's gonna have later on. Cause I am thinking about, you know, uh, maybe doing black mag wheels later on or so. And you know, obviously it has a, a few black accents on the bike here and there. So it's gonna look really nice. Um, like I said, it does light up really, really, really good. And I'm gonna show you guys a before and after with, um, after I finish installing this. So this should be a very simple plug and play. All we're gonna do is that we're gonna come here. We're going to unscrew this screw that's right here. That's gonna take off the um, uh, the lid right here that acts like a clamp. Um, that'll come out. Then you just literally poke the whole thing out and plug this in and we're, we're done. All right, so we're gonna start unscrewing this. I already went ahead and I loosened everything up. So it should pop out any minute now. Any minute now. Just be sure, be very careful that you hold your hand there so this little bolt doesn't get lost. Nothing gets lost. Bring that over. And now this should just pop right out just like this. Unplug it from the back. Come on, my guy. Give me a hard time over here. You busting my balls, huh? Guys over here busting my balls. So the same way we took that one out, we're gonna plug this one in, just as so. All right, so before I screw everything back in, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it on, see if it works. Ah, there it is. We have lights. That is bright, man. All right. Just want to make sure I want to know which way to put it on. Because um, once I turn the high beam on. There we go. Just like that. This gets put in just like that again. So now we're gonna take a little nut and put it on the other side over here. And we're still tightening everything up and we're done. So easy as one, two, three, as you can see. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this little thing a little shine. Make sure there's no fingerprints on there, nice and clean. That looks good, man. That looks real good. Yeah, baby, yeah! All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and turn it on the bike and I'm show you guys how the stock light looks. This is what it is on. So obviously not the best visibility there is. All right, so we're gonna turn the uh, LED headlight on now. Wow, huge difference. Turn the high beam on. Amazing. All right, guys, so there you have it, $37. The thing looks amazing, it lights up like crazy, and you can't go wrong with the price. I'm gonna be linking down the description in the description box if you guys are interested in buying this. I think it's pretty cool, it's worth the money. And if you're new to my channel, this is my 2015 Dyna Lowrider 
in the back right here, we got my 2020 Low Rider S, which I'm building out both little by little. Um, lots and lots of cool content to come. I have a light bar install that I'm gonna be doing later on this week as well. So if you wanna tune into that, make sure to subscribe. Hit that bell button to so notify you anytime I upload these type of new content. And like always guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.